our role in the marketing of the arts and crafts was we partnered with the museum, we partnered with the historical, and the Indian Village and Under These Hills, we, had, we were organized as a cultural district. And we worked together on, first of all, kind of how to brand ourselves and what, how we could be representative to the Cherokee people and them to be proud of how we marketed ourselves. We were lucky, we've always had what we need come to us at the co-op, whether it's someone selling white oak or handles and um, Susan Jenkins and myself, we were discussing the, the resources, you know, like where we might be able to get them or how we can preserve the resources. Because I know now there's one gentleman on the reservation, he's providing a lot of the white oak to the weavers. So it was Susan's idea that they began a, a group and we had a meeting and a lot of people from the park service and different areas came in and from that grew Artie Carr. And it, it's been a, a working relationship ever since. Through the grant money from the foundation, we have done a retail pro system and that helps us with our marketing and tracking. We can tell what artists is selling the most, um, how many damaged items we have, um, how the southwest section is helping the store overall. Um, we've got an outreach program, outreach coordinator, and in turn that person can uh, focus directly on the artists and work directly with the classes and just give their undivided attention. And that really helps because our main mission is to sell crafts and promote the artists. Beyond just giving grants, the Cherokee Preservation Foundation, they're very hands-on. They'll come down to your um, business and see what's going on. They help make partnerships and through them we've done a lot of board development, staff development, and they've just helped the whole community grow. The challenges that we faced uh, when we first started receiving grants was, you know, who do you get to work on the roof, who do you get to put in sidewalks. So all you have to do is make a call to the foundation and they let you know that um, Taro is available and th they're kind of like the extension office, they're a valuable resource of information and you know even things like a, um, letters of support, they'll help you with, with anything you ask for.